So I got another request for a tutorial in some of the comments on one of my previous videos, and it was linking to this dribble shot by Guillaume Galante. And it's this really cool interaction with a graph that turns into a straight line as you scroll up. So I reached out to Guillaume and he graciously sent me his file and said that I could do a tutorial based on it. Now, he warned me that the file was a little bit rough around the edges and that he kind of just like hacked it together enough that it could work for the dribble shot. But I think that's okay because we can probably learn something from it. Maybe I can make some tweaks to it or clean it up and we can just enjoy his really nice interaction. So like he said, this prototype was a little bit messy. I went through and cleaned up the groups, renamed some layers, which is really helpful if you're not familiar with the prototype. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I've got this group that goes around all the content of the entire screen. And then I'll click behavior. Now Guillaume's was actually using a swipe up and down gesture, but I think this is a perfect candidate to use a scroll gesture. So the first thing you always wanna do in the behavior designer is set up your states. So I'm gonna make a new state and in this state, uh, a few things will happen. This line is going to turn into a straight line. So to do that, I'm going to hit enter to get into vector edit mode. And you can see all the vector points there. Then I'll just select all those points and use the vertical align tool to align them all in a straight line. Then I'll just drag this up right under the header where it's going to end. And I want to make sure that it goes the full width across the screen. Cool. The next thing I want to do is drag these dots straight up and those should disappear as it goes up. And I think that will look best if they scale down. So I'll just scale these down to where they're like zero by zero. So they'll disappear that way. And the next thing I want to do is account for these dates. So I'm going to select those, move them up a bit and have them fade out as they move up. Okay, one more thing is the background of the graph here, which kind of followed the contour of the graph line. And that should be treated very similarly to the um, red line. So I'm going to select all those points, vertically align them, and then drag them up here to the line and widen this a bit so it goes the full width of the screen. All right, so I think that's all it's going to take. Now I just need a link to go between these states. So from the initial state, I'll select the scroll content group create a link and target the new state. So by creating that link on the scroll group, that means that the interaction from initial to new state is gonna happen based on my scroll position because this is a scroll gesture. So now I can open up the preview and uh, test out what I've set up in the behavior designer. Cool, it looks like that's working great. So that's sort of my take on building the animation that Guillaume created, which I thought was really cool, uh, but I just cleaned it up a little bit and made it and made it use a scroll gesture to get between the states, which I think works a little better. So thanks again to Guillaume for sharing his file. Be sure to follow him on Dribble. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And if you have something cool that you designed and you'd like me to feature it on, on this channel, break it down, uh, send it to hello at flinto.com and mention this YouTube channel.